guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss how to enable the multi-factor authentication in commvault we are going to uh, enable the multi-factor authentication using the google authenticator app that we have okay uh, there is no as such prerequisite that we required to enable this MFA, anyone who want to use this feature can easily use this multi-factor authenticator uh, feature provided by the Commvault. Uh, there is no special type of license or there is no any prerequisite that you require. Yes, there is requirement you need to download the Google Authenticator mobile app on your mobile. Uh, from the Play Store or the App Store has been supported for both for Android, uh, Android phone for the iOS, both. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to enable the MFA from the command center and then I'm going to show you how to enable the MFA from the console console. Now moving forward to the console, what we're going to do is let's let's move to the command center first. If you want to enable the MFA, what you need to do is you need to go to a tab under the manage called console and in this particular console tab, if you scroll it down, okay, in there, there is something called general and in this journal, you will be able to see a option coming up with the name enable two factor authentication. Okay. Now, uh, of course, you should be having the admin rights to enable this particular feature on your console. You should have a master control on this particular com uh, console console. So if you have the required permission, you can simply say enable two factor authentication and it will ask you whether you want to enable the MFA for all the users who log into the console or you want to enable it only for some specific group of users like you can create uh, uh, user groups and whatever the users are there in that group for them only the MFA will be enabled so you can do it for all users or for some specific user which are part of a group so you cannot enable for individual users but yes you can enable it for the entire group of people okay some set of group of people now during the authentication like when you log into the console do you want to have a passwordless login passwordless login means you want to enter the password as well as the mfa pin or you just want to enter the mfa pin not the password so if you just want to enter the mfa pin not the password you can say allow passwordless login okay but if you want that user should log in uh, like user should enter the password as well as the mfa pin then you should disable it my recommendation would be let's not allow the password list. Let the user log in through the password as well as the pin. Like both should be used. Okay, just for the secure enhancing the security. But if you want to, you can use the password list. Okay. And once you say all user, let's say I'm going to enable for all users and say save. Now, once you click on save, MFA is being enabled. Now, guys, the same thing you can enable from the console console as well. Uh, in the Comcell console, you can go to the control panel and in the systems under the security tab, you get this option of enabling the two factor authentication. This has already been enabled over here because I have already enabled in the command center. Okay. So you can enable from the Comcell console as well MFA. Okay. Now guys, we'll go back to the command center now. Now I have enabled the MFA. Now what you need to do is guys, you have to log out from this particular user through which you have logged into the console okay now once you click on this and say log out now once you click on log out you will be logged out from the console and now here is an option coming up click here to log back in okay now it's written in there that you have to click here to log back in now click in there log back in now guys once you uh, go log back in just enter the same username and enter the password for that particular user okay now once you enter the password now see guys since you have enabled the mfa now what it is going to do is it is saying that you have enabled the mfa and you need to register this particular user now guys there is a qr code that has been given and there is a 16 digit uh, uh, key that has been given on the bottom for this user admin guys please take a screenshot of it and save it for the future reference just in case but what you need to do is you need to scan this QR code or enter this key in your Google Authenticator app. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to open. Okay. I'm going to open my uh, uh, Google Authenticator app and going to scan it. Now uh, I'm, I'm going I'm going to log in into my Comsof. 
sorry not com server i'm going to open my mobile and use that qr code for scanning okay Now guys, you have seen how simple it was when you go to the Google Authenticator app, you have to just click on add account and you have to scan this QR code. And once you scan this QR code, you were able to see that user admin was already added to this particular uh, uh, Google Authenticator app and there was a pin that is being generated. Now what I'm going to do is I will scroll down and say return to login. And now what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to enter that username admin okay i'm going to enter that username admin just give me a minute i it just not allow me to go back just let me say refresh and i would say admin and say enter the password okay for that particular user since we have selected the option to enter the password as well and now it is asking you for the pin now guys what you can do is you can go to the authenticator app and whatever the pin that has been shown for that particular user that particular pin you can actually enter now one thing that you have to remember guys you don't require an internet access on your comserve to integrate with the google authenticator you don't require even an internet to be there on your com serve or on your phone when you enter these or you when you enter these particular pin no internet connection is required okay so you enter this one and say login and once you click on login uh i think uh yeah uh, i'm able to log in in this now once you log in you will be able to see now you have the access to the console through the mfa multi-factor authentication now what i'm going to do is i'm going to log in into the console console as well using this mfa okay so what i'm going to do is guys i am going to close this console console and now what i will do is i will open this console uh, console again as well because there is something different in the console console when you enable the mfa okay so when you enter this one notice one thing it is not asking you for the pin it is not asking you for the pin does it mean that we do not have to do the multi fact like multi factor authentication will not work for this one answer is yes you require to enter the pin mfa will work for this one but how if you directly click on okay like you enter the username and password and say okay it will give you an error okay it says two factor authentication is enabled on this com so fail to email recipient like it is trying to email me that particular pin and all that see guys it is not giving you the direct option to enter the pin. So what you need to do is there is an option coming up now over here. Log in with the command center. You enter the username and password and say log in with the command center. And what it do, does it? It will open this one in a new console. It will open your web console. Okay. Uh, in a new URL. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, new Internet Explorer tab. Okay. And what you can do is you can say go on to the web page. You can simply log in forward. And now over here it is asking you the password and all that again. So you enter that username and password and your pin that you are getting on the authenticator app. Okay. So you enter that one uh, uh, pin and say login. Now once you click on login guys just notice one thing. Okay. It is login in there and says you have been successfully signed in. You can now close this browser guys. That was you are entering only for, uh, uh, you know, you were taken to the web console to enter the pin. You will, it's not like you cannot log into the console console. You can see over here. Now I'm able to log in. It's what automatically added. So you have to click on login to the login through the command center. You enter the pin in there and then combo will allow you to log in into this particular console console. Okay. So, uh, this is how it works. Now, guys, I have seen in some cases that, uh, uh, you know, people are not able to open this one in the Internet Explorer. Please remember that uh, command center does not support the Internet Explorer. You should have the Edge or you should have the Chrome already installed in there. So that issue can be resolved in this way. So, guys, th this is it. This is how you're going to enable the MFA on your ComServe using the google authenticator app you can even use the microsoft of authenticator app it's very very simple to configure this okay so guys that's it thank you so much